right now we can't really think of a reason not to print everything. I'm Jonah Reynolds, uh, uh, part of Pangea Biotexture. We're a full service architecture and construction company. So we've been building sustainable off-grid biotexture buildings, also known as airships, rammed earth and tires with off-grid systems. We've been watching the 3D printer space for about six, seven years. The printer is fast, so we can do a thousand square feet in four or five days and right around four or five people can operate it and they're highly skilled. What the printer allows is to still sit, stay that affordability, especially when we're doing 100 buildings or 200 buildings as opposed to seven, but concrete and steel, which is super strong, it's gonna last. So insurance companies like it better. And then fire departments, these things are not gonna burn down. A three bedroom, thousand square feet, square foot should be about 191 grand. Uh, the 900 square foot two bedroom, I think is 172 grand. And I think the town is doing nothing down. And I think the payment should be around 11, 1200 a month. Average cost per square foot in Taos is 450. About 95% of our crew, I think, uh, all graduated from Taos High, um, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, all the dimensional lumber, all the beams come from Taos County mountains, and they'll all be milled here with our mill. Uh, all the cement is coming from Southern New Mexico. The steel, most of it's from New Mexico. And so we're, you know, some of the other materials didn't come from New Mexico, but now that we understand it, it's specific need for the printer. We're like, we can just make it ourselves here, whether that's welding or, or whatever else. We have a website at pangeacademy.org where people can fill out a form. They go through three or four different tiers to then get qualified and get financed um, uh, so that we make sure only local Taosanios get into this. Uh, and so we've received a ton of inquiries from this, um, over 90 for only seven buildings, and the vast majority of them are single mothers. Uh, the the situation that a lot of them are in is heartbreaking, but it's um, it just makes us double down and kind of frustrated. We only have seven at the moment to do, but we're working on a pipeline to do a lot more pro a lot more affordable housing buildings. At the end of the day, we'll have uh, extremely affordable housing for the for all the people of Taos. So we're pretty happy about it.